continue. Yeah, where I left off, because there must have been some update since I left. Alright, let's see what this whole I understand is about. how Shawnee must be. I get tired of these Thrown from the saddle stuff. by Apony, her best friend since childhood, must have hit her hard. It wasn't just something that was like. Glad you're all here. Enjoy the gameplay.
Come on now. I got four. Okay. You find what it is you're looking for. Show goodbye for now. <laughs> Show goodbye. I see you too have come to do a little avian investigation. While most chocobos run on land, the birds around here are capable of taking to the skies. Flying on chocoback must be quite the thrill.
tried to burn.
the strong survive. Is incredible. Thank you for your contribution. Any questions about World Intel? Don't be shy now. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for World Intel. <laughs> Perhaps you would be able to cross if you were riding a sky choker, though. Still not done. Though. I can't Wish believe it. it. It really is you. 
<laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Oh. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. is yours. These caves were formed from erosion caused by the night.
there is music. We're at the Cosmo Canyon, Cloud. A long-standing dream of mine has finally come true. Planetology rejects our mako-consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. The torch of Cosmo. To the wisdom of the world. Hmm. You must be Nanaki's friends. He's gone up to the observatory, if you're wondering. May the planet guide us. Let you pass. Of course not. undergoing maintenance. I'm fine. Uh, right. How can I be of service? Hmm. What I don't do.
Watch how you wield those things now. Just so we're clear, I only sell to customers I deem worthy. Magnata books can be traced back to Cosmo Canyon itself. May the planet bless you with wisdom. The store has this many books dedicated to planetology. The home of planetology is the perfect place to refine your abilities. Great Mother's memories must always be here for you. Crazy to think these caves formed naturally. Have you heard of Phoenix Pieces? again soon
I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. See? I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology! Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Lost stuff to upgrade in, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that'll do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. may serve as a conduit for the very wisdom of the like we did. They'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. You ask me, what? I still need to decide on a subject. Disciples of her teachings gather here to share their experiences. Through these seminars, we learn from one another and together enrich our lives. Participation in the seminars requires a special invitation from a mentor. Without one, I'm afraid you cannot join. Perhaps you might instead consider taking part in the River of Light ceremony. I suspect you'd enjoy it.
blessings of the planet upon you. Our planetology seminars are open. Might I suggest observing the river of light ceremony? The seminars and I think meditation has really helped me. Damn game everywhere, man. <laughs> to pass through the veil and trace the wizard. So Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? This place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. <laughs> ah, not so fast. You see, this is where we keep all our value. Ah, not so fast. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Bugenhagen's. Okay, that was funny. Fellow Bugenhagen's. Okay, dokie. If we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any mm -hmm. creature, big or small, with whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond the confines of this yeah. world. That which disrupts the natural order. The other which may attempt to claim and consume the planet. Mm -hmm. And so I bid you, her children, to join hands and... Oh! These are the friends I was talking about. See? <laughs> Thank oh. you for looking after <laughs> my lucky. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good for nothing father. I'm tired father. of the voice change. It's weird. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mama King? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around.
monarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> have my devices piqued your curiosity? Anarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope. We have Professor Gast to thank for a full half of the research materials archived here. That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll find a way to bring out the full depths of your beauty. My heart. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Oh, they are essential to my studies of the planet. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Sounds like a radio. Hmm. They just use no, I suspect it can't detect much <laughs> now. All the radio sound. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. But the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies.
we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. Is to gaze into their what they want to do. us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet what we just heard didn't come from the planet though that was definitely the voice of a weapon hmm you seem awfully sure of yourself miss because we saw them with our own eyes two in the corral and gungaga reactors they were loud and huge <laughs> a fascinating account were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. To see a doctor. Um. <laughs> excuse me? Oh, oh. Interesting. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. <clears throat> I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado...
It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned. Yes. It is fated to fuel way, man's machinery mustache. and fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Okay. Got a question. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? Yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <laughs> you flip it out for me. Where did that come from? I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environments. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Excuse me. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance.
See? There's the turtle shell he wore to train with him. It's Master Roshi's cousin. Told y'all. Turtle Hermit's cousin. Just lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means. Please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward? Side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Blessings of the planet upon you. Fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than welcome to do so. According to him, a big kid like Please continue on into the assembly. Show energy as other folks. And I was a burden on the planet. But he was wrong. That extra energy I received from the planet, it was a this weird cult you got me trying to join here. You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, Defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. Uh. I, 
I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. Ah, the river of lights. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. has really helped. I ask you this. Who among you has looked in? I joined it. We yearn to chase the horizon. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Someone explain to me the voice. Uh, it's never so mind. Weird. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. When it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself with filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, but nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. The planet's trying to tell me something. What? Great Mother, she would never forsake us, never abandon us. For we are her children, one and all. This wonderful planet is always watching over us. Ever keeping calamity at When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Okay. 
Yeah, I totally agree. What? Ugh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. To nurture your spirit is to Man, I can't wait to see what they've got. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Like a grain of sand on the beach that is the universe. This river of lights thing, so... So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa!
pretty sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. Crossing that bridge to do all of this. <laughs> so, this is where you've been, Nana. I to run back and fly the bird. <laughs> What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tools. 